Good day, everyone. My name is Jude Zildarias and I'm from Microoptics Sales Department. I would like to thank you and thank the ones connected from different time zones. Today, we are going to give you some important tips to keep in mind when choosing a computer aid semen analysis or CASA system. During this webinar, we would like to show you which aspects should be considered in order to improve your daily work and to understand what is more suitable for your laboratory. Please, not all the questions will be answered at the end of this presentation and you can send them through the platform chat. So let's start this session with an important question. Do I really need a CASA system for my laboratory? Let's see. So why is human sperm screening so important? A preamble you may know, infertility is a growing problem that affects approximately one of six couples. It is often considered a female condition, but the truth is that 50% of infertility cases in a couple concern also the male partner. There is an increasing evidence that male infertility is declining at a significant rate. Sperm concentration has decreased by 60% over the last past 40 years. Despite this, little scientific research has been done on male factor infertility. Well, with these slides, we will see the differences performing analysis between subjective or manual analysis and objective analysis with the CASA system. Regarding the manual analysis, you know each person or technician can see results differently. It is very subjective. There is a lack of results, they are not really precise, manual analysis is also harder to teach and there are not numerical graphics or images to learn. And you spend more time and this can cause visual fatigue. Errors may occur when transferring the results manually to the system. The idea using a CASA system is to obtain objective analysis, less tiring, time saving and prevent false results. A CASA system aims to avoid the subjectivity. Other advantages will be standardize the results to obtain traceability of the data, to increase the accuracy and reproduction of the measurements, preserving the video documentation. You can also generate reports with all the results, graphic and images, and it's easier to use, teach and learn. You can also send the results to your system in the laboratory or to the cloud. These kind of systems will give you quality and prestige to your laboratory. Just to summarize, the CASA system have made improvements and are more accurate than the manual method, mainly for evaluating sperm according to the guidelines of the sixth edition of the WHO manual, including sperm velocities, their different kinematic movements and hyperactivation. Let's start with 10 aspects to consider when choosing a CASA system for your laboratory. Well, first question, what parameters I want to analyze? First of all, we must consider which species we would like to work with, human or animal pig, rabbit, fish, or rats, since it's not the same to analyze human sperm or rat sperm or any other animals. What information I want to obtain, for example, if I work in animal production center, I'll be maybe interested in obtaining doses. So I would like to analyze motility and concentration and maybe morphology. Another example will be if I work at a university and I'm doing a specific study of the acrosome reaction in human, or maybe I work in a human IVF center, so I want to analyze different parameters 
such as motility, concentration, morphology, vitality. And I should also consider if I will perform additional tests, as for example, cervical mucus penetration, hyperactivation, acrosome reaction to see if the sperm is able to fertilize the oocyte, DNA fragmentation to check if there is any damage or is the DNA broken, leukocyte analysis, and uh, the second question will be, can I trust a castle system? Well, it's not new that the advances of computational technology, electronic and computer images has helped a lot and enable a significant evolution and development of these CASA equipment. In this case, we recommend you to make sure the CASA system you choose has an internal and external quality control. Uh, use improved technology and artificial intelligence if it's possible. Check if you have the possibility to view images and results to be able to validate and edit them not just believing 100% what the CASA system says. Take into account the importance of the quality of the hardware used, camera, computer, and microscope, which are not low quality components that can cause difficulties in the analysis. Check if the system is audited by notified agencies and our advice is to choose a system that gives you reliable results but with the contribution of a technician to confirm, to validate and to obtain 100% of reliability. And the third question will be, is this CASA system adapted to my laboratory? The idea is to know if this CASA system I choose has the option of agreeing with my laboratory information system. For example, if I have peripheral laboratories, I will need this CASA gives me the opportunity to install complementary systems in the centralized one. Check if you have the possibility to have the option to customize and add new preparation to different hours. Create different users with different roles, customize reports, and adjust to settings. Look for a real flexible system. The fourth question will be, is a CASA system a profitable investment? Well, this is a question that comes up often and it's legitimate because yes, the acquisition of a CASA system, it's an investment. There are several parameters to take into account. First of all, the price of the system, the major part of the investment, but it's also important to look at the cost of consumables. There are systems that can work with a, a wide range of reagents and other systems that will only be used with the manufacturer's consumables. Hence the importance of not only looking at the cost of the system, but also the cost of the reagents per analysis. And finally, to answer this question about profitability, buying a CASA system, it's profitable. Maybe not in terms of money, but what is sure is that you will gain in precision, in speed of analysis, reliability, and gives prestige to your laboratory. Fifth question, with the CASA system, Will I still need technicians? And it's undeniable that the work of the technician is crucial. A CASA system does not replace the technician. A CASA system is a helping tool for the technician when assessing the quality of the sample. The technician has an important role, especially for checking the system configuration, sample preparations, images capture, verification of the analysis, manual corrections if necessary, and validation of the results. And finally, it is important to well train the team in the proper CASA system use. Make sure about protocols and techniques you use, and if are still compatible with this CASA system or the new ones can be implemented in your laboratory.
Well, the next question will be, will I save time with the CASA system? Actually, yes. Let me give you a few examples. The WHO recommends classifying two replicates of 200 spermatozoa in order to have a proper motility result. It can take about five minutes to an experienced technician, but a CASA system, for example, will return the results in one minute. Not only for motility and concentration, it also will grant back images. There will be a saving of time for the analysis of the morphology, especially for the CASA system, which classifies the different structures of the head, intermediate part, and flagellum. A CASA system allows you to gradually increase the number of samples to be processed per day. Also to analyze certain parameters that you may not have been doing in manual technique. And finally, the clinic will be able to reduce the wait list to get an appointment. Seven question. After installation, will I have access to customer service? Of course, to set up an automatic system in the laboratory, it's not an easy decision. It involves some organizational changes, so a remarkable point is that the whole team follows a complete training during the installation. The support when starting the system plays also a crucial role in the proper operation of the system. Make sure about an after installation service. It should be included by the manufacturer offering an efficient after sales service. For a CASA system good practice, it's important to ask for scientific support during the most complicated samples to analyze. Ask for the possibility of being trained continuously, either for an upgrade course or for a new person in your laboratory. The system warranty is also a point to consider. Eighth question, do I know any reference centers working with this CASA system? Well, try to read some testimonials or current customers' feedback. Look for scientific publications and papers background using this CASA system. Ask for reference centers in your region to the original manufacturer and try to contact other CASA system users. Number nine will be, is there any potential development or innovation in this CASA system? Well, try to look for innovation development in other microorganisms and new research in collaboration with other groups, often publicized. Make sure about new versions and additions. It's important to be sure that the system will be updated yearly and adapted to new regulations. Read about new models recently added, for example, to analyze leukocytes. Upgrade with additional components to improve the analysis as heating stages to control the temperature of your slides, new camera or new microscopes. And consider that the CASA system is a long-term investment. Think about the future, the cost now, and benefits for the rest of your team. Think about new trainees in your laboratory, how fast is learning with a friendly user and didactic software. Updates according to your laboratory needs. Introduce parameters manually adapted to the WHO. Make sure that the CASA system won't be obsolete soon. And the last point today will be any add values a CASA system will offer me. Well, in addition to our discuss points today, it is also a valuable tool for research to cross reference data, compare results, illustrate publications, etc. Using a CASA system is also the opportunity to work with a certified manufacturer having an accreditation. It gives you also the opportunity to collaborate with several partners 
in the field of male infertility. And the last sentence, it also means differentiating yourself from other laboratories and gaining prestige. And the conclusion, well, a CASA system is a very useful tool for semen analysis. Results are given faster, easier, and more reliable than manual analysis. Never left. The human role is still very important. The machine does not substitute the human. Working with an efficient CASA system means betting on results quality, objectivity, and traceability. As you know, new technologies are available in the healthcare industry to facilitate your daily work. Our CASA system competitors are also capacitated, but the most important is to choose the one being able to adapt the best practice and to perform semen analysis confidently for every biologist.